Hi guys, Brain the Skirl, I am back with another video, and today we are back with another subreddit. Now this one, I will put a viewer discretion advisement on, because we are bound to see some very, very terrifying specimens on here. Don't mess with these hard people. Let's jump straight to the first one. <laughs> okay, so for the first one, we've got, well, this love machine. He's got his Tinder profile set, with his picture of the scar above his eye. One interest, Scottish Rugby. Ah uh, yeah, you're gonna be catching all the fucking ladies there. There's not a fucking woman on earth who would turn down this beautiful, beautiful man. How to get matches? Tell them you love rugby and show them your injuries. Fucking 100% works. Okay, for this next one, I don't get the picture that's gone with it. It's a tattooed wolf. When I died and went to hell, Satan said, Oh shit, he's back and booted me back into my body and I was back alive. That was the third time he's done that. Satan won't even take me, and he can't deal with me. So what does that say about me? It says you're a fucking animal. It says that Satan just can't handle your fucking attitude, can't handle the shit going on. He knows that you could kick fuck out of him, so why does he want to keep you around? You can make his dominance look bad. Here we've got the one from the man, the myth, the legend himself, Big Donny Trump. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. Yeah, Donald Trump fucking telling people how it is because he knows for a fact he could destroy them. He's got the power to destroy any country in the world. Who's going to fire back it in? No one messes with Big Donny. Big Donny's got this shit in the bag. Right. I just love this because someone's firing back at one of those stupid chain messages that you fucking get. So no matter what this says, I'm going to love it either way. If you love your mum, pass this to 20 people. A girl ignored this and her mum died 365 days later. Sorry, I can't ignore this because I love my mum. I'll not forward this and if my mum dies, I'm going to kill your whole family and lock you up with their dead bodies in a room and won't even open the room for at least one year. The only way you'll survive this is to eat them. Have a nice day. Beautiful! I fucking love it. <laughs> Fuck it being the hard bastard. You know what, I'll join this prick. I'll join this fucking huge Donny, this fucking awesome person who's gonna lock someone in a room with their dead family. Jesus Christ, that, that went dark. Next one, we've got a proper mad one. This guy's just going off. He's, he, 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 some it's pissed him off. Can't tell what it is, but he's fucking going off. What a fucking bitch, boy. If I seen this little bitch walking around the streets, I'll drop him with the old one-two combo and then laugh. <laughs> Already starting off well. Nice fantasy. In reality, you just feel inadequate and type about it angrily on Reddit like you do now. He's not leaving it there. He's like, I'm, I'm replying to this shit. I'll drop you as well, you little bitch. Probably jacking on your tiny little ding dong. <laughs> ding dong! Ding dong! Yes! To a box box dressed as a whore, you smelly little virgin. I'm an MMA fighter. Alright, this th th this guy's going on a, on a fucking mental one. 9 and 0 in my pro career. <laughs> You're prob probably a little frecky spotty ginger bi- oh. You're probably a little freckly, spotty, ginger bitch behind the keyboard. I'll knock out you and your friends, if you have any, in about five seconds. I wouldn't be the one feeling inadequate. I'd be feeling empowered at knocking out a little loser. I'm not saying that word. Like yourself. For reference, I am a 6'3", 245 pound alpha. <laughs> the alpha. Filled with good feelings, eyes to die for, as well as a killer left hook. Big, black, and ready to smack. This is my motto in life. Keep talking shit, and you'll feel my motto. You can you can tell right now this guy is the most humble person in the world. He doesn't live for the praise. He just lives to be him. You can say what you like about him. 9-0 and in his career. He could have said more about that. He could have went into a massive rant about like the people that he destroyed in the ring but he chose not to he chose to take the high ground on this one hats off to you you hard bastard 
Oh, we've got the person you should never mess with right now. You should fear this man. Like, full-on fear this man. You'll shoot at me. I'll pull the bullet out of my ruined jacket and shove it up your ass with my pinky finger. Who do you think it's gonna hurt more? It, th this must be Iron Man. It has to be. Or the Hulk, maybe. They are made of just undestructible materials. This this person will fuck you up. They'll take your fucking life in an instant. You see this man? Turn around, walk away. Don't even don't even make eye contact. You can't make eye contact with a person like this. They are a truly incredible animal. Never apologize for your giant dogs getting overexcited. If I get taken down by a 100 pound mass of fluff, then that's how I go. Fair enough, a nice little one there. The reply. And if your shitty fluff ball gets killed while attacking me, that's how it goes. See, dogs don't even affect this person. If you can't be taken down by a dog, what the fuck is happening? This man must be God. Last one we had, Iron Man or the Hulk, whatever the hell he was. This man, this man is God. He cannot be killed. But in all seriousness, this man would be taken down by a dog. We know that for a fact. There's only one man who can withstand dogs, guns, explosions, anything you can throw at the man. And that's Zlatan. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The only man who cannot be taken down. Now what we've got here is a specimen who knows they've got different levels of anger and knows that they can drive you to it. This isn't me grumpy. Believe me, if I were to get in a mood, I could probably destroy your will to live. Oh fucking hell, don't hurt me, please. I'd terrorise you until you got that noose tied up, tight, begging for someone to kick the stool from under your feet. Fucking hell! Calm down, C calm down pal. This this guy's gone off on a mad one. He, he's the type of guy you don't want to mess with. He, he, he can, uh, in just words, just words, that's all he needs and he can make it so that your will to live is completely gone. I mean, I once heard that he turned round to Ronda Rousey and said, your gloves aren't tight enough. Fucking derailed her whole career for like fucking months. This person's really protective over the Supreme shirt. Whoever stole my Supreme shirt out of my backpack during football, fucking come out and say it and I won't get... Okay, the grammar in this has kind of just stumbled me there. And I, you won't get your ass killed. If I find out who stole it, you will be killed. So fucking tell me before you die. Whoever it is, they need to get this fucking shirt back to him as quick as possible. I won't want to mess with it, this, Donnie. I mean, look at his slippers. If they don't tell you that this guy's a badass, nothing fucking will. I'd be shaking in my boots. I'd be like, nah, nah, uh, right, it's not worth this fucking shirt. Here you go, fucking have it back. Please don't hurt me, pal. Please do not hurt me. Only true fucking hard specimens talk like this and wear fucking slippers like that. You do not fuck with a Donny like this. This man, this fucking hero and legend will annihilate anyone who tries to besmirch his name by stealing from him. By stealing a Supreme shirt. I went on a weird one with that. God knows where I was going, but we've ended up here at the end. So yeah, I hope you did like the video. And if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the video or tell me about any hard specimens that you know. Just pure Donnies. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.